the digitizing the building we are going to be using the other tool which is the rectangle tool so once we click on the building we are going to make a selection we're going to use rectangle all right so i'm going to zoom into a different layout still in the capital city of nigeria all right so i'm going to zoom in to have a clarity in the image so with the rectangle selected all i need to do is click one and click the second point it's going to generate everything for a drag so if i click one i release click the second one then i drag then where i reach when i reach where i want and i'll release it but then on the polygon you realize that you have to select all the four points so we have this building here an extension of the main building so i'll still do the selection and put it in so from what we did the last time we're still going to apply that here click on select then highlight them and then you click merge so it's going to bring out this so you say merge all right so we go back to our create future tool and we select the rectangle tool again So let's say we just want to consider the rectangle part of each of these buildings. You will realize that we are going to be very fast within the shortest period of time we will do a whole lot of digitizing. So I urge you because of some of the complexity of the buildings, I prefer rectangle too because it gives me the sense of speed I want to have while digitizing. So this is how you can digitize using the rectangle tool. And then all the most of the complicated building you can find with different shapes, you can easily use the rectangle tool to do that, like this one here. So this, all I need to do is to click one, click two, and follow the path and click select here and click do the same here and click and follow this path and click this a kind of another one here so i'm going to do that and click so by the time i click the select button and highlight all of them and merge to bring out the way the building was when we sit on the ground example like this once as well let's go back to the create future tool and the rectangle so look at this building you can see that there are about three blocks with some detachment so let me quickly run through that let me run the three blocks first all right so we have a detachment here so we select from here and then we do this so there's another detachment i'm seeing from here now we'll just do this and put it in there we have the last one here then now imagine you are to use uh, the rectangle to to achieve this you can still achieve it but it's going to take your time and it will take a lot from you so I've merged it and then you can see that it has come out same thing with a building like this a building like this you can see as the complication complicacy of the, 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 the shapes so this rectangle tool can save you a whole lot of time so once you are satisfied with your digitizing from 
there all you need to do is to save your work and it's asking you whether you want to save all changes yes you want to save all changes so now we've saved it and then we are good to go so it's not like on the art gis desktop that you have to start editor like that once you come on edit and you click on create future you're good to go so you you can continue digitizing. So we're going to look at digitizing road and there are different types and then we're going to look at hospital and different futures. So this is the second video on digitizing. I'll see you in the next one.